Okay, in this clip, uh, I'm headed back to the rig. I'm almost to the rig at this point. I got my spinning reel out. Got that same little glass minnow jig. Comes in different colors. Pink, silver, orange, brown. It didn't seem to matter. It's just the shape and the flash of the jig. Those tarpons setting up against the legs of that rig, I guess could see it going over the top. So all you had to do was throw at the base of the rig, give it a second or two and reel it at a pretty quick pace. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I've got a towel over my ankles. I got pretty sunburned the day before, even though I put sunscreen on my ankles and stuff. I don't wear socks. I wear like some um, kayak type shoes. And uh, a lot of times it'll get burned if you have a good way to keep your legs from getting burnt right there let me know in the comments section of this video I'd sure appreciate it first throw as soon as I got up to the to the rig and threw that pink jig saw a big silver tarp and roll up there and grab it uh, didn't fight him for very long it was pretty quick he was on and off um, at that point, I figured I better rig up with something a little heavier if I ever wanted to get one into the boat. All right. I'm just going to leave it rolling this time. I rigged up a little heavier rod. We'll see if this will work. Uh, <laughs> I'm bound and determined to get one of these and grab my hands on it. I had that one. I leadered it yesterday, and it got off right as I leadered it. Let's see if I can't get up closer. I got one on the first cast. I kind of got a feeling they're not going to like this bigger line, but we'll see. I'm going to leave it rolling.
I had used a large piece of the jack that I had caught from the day prior. It was a very large piece because I was really trying to catch a bigger, bigger shark. Um, as soon as I hooked up, I knew this was a better shark than anything I had caught the previous day or up until this point. You can see in the background the rig getting smaller and the wake from the kayak as this thing pulls me away from the rig. It was a pretty intense fight. I mean, he was just really getting after it, real strong, hard pulls. I thought probably with the size of bait that I had used, that it, at this point it was a bull shark is what I had. When I finally get it up beside the boat, it's a shark all right, but it's not a bull shark. It was just a big black tip. Uh, the biggest black tip I had caught of the trip, probably close to seven foot, if I had to guess. The bad thing about this whole video is I go through this whole deal and never think to turn the camera onto the shark. So I completely forgot at this point to turn the camera so you could see the shark. And I looked everywhere and I didn't get one picture of this shark. I, uh, I had me fighting the shark, you know, the pictures of the water, everything except for a picture of the shark that I was fighting. So I'm sorry guys, you're probably not going to get to see this one. It was the best shark of the whole trip, but like I said, probably six and a half, seven foot black tip. <sighs> he pulled me away from the rig, another quarter of a mile. I think I'm going to go back and grab my stuff. Call it a day. It's a good fishing trip, man. I'm going to deal with cutting him loose and I'm going to head back to the rig.